final non-district home game for Tybee Tuesday night. They were facing old district rival San Antonio Memorial. Antlers came out and scored 18 points in the first quarter, all on three-point shots like that one from Jackson Young. They kept things going in the second half. Drew Jamison steps behind the screen and knocks down the three-point shot. Ricky Lujan got in on the action. He actually started the action here. He's going to finish it for Tybee's. The Antlers picked up a big 57-44 win. Tybee shot Memorial out of their zone defense early on as they scored 27 of their 57 points from behind the line. It's a philosophy that head coach Brian Young was wanting his team to take into this contest. They played us a certain way. We got open looks and we hit shots. Now, I don't want to live and die by it, but at the same time, I'm not, I don't want to not take advantage of something that I feel like we might be able to do pretty good this season. Tyvee closed out a difficult non-district schedule with probably the toughest test on that slate. Tuesday night, they were in San Antonio to take on the 6A number 9 ranked Johnson Lady Jags. And the 7th ranked 5A Lady Antlers dropped this one 67-41. Charlie Becker scored 15 and Juliana Robertson added 10. A slow start stunted Tybee's attempt to pull the upset. Things don't get much easier for Tybee. After a much-deserved night off on Friday, they open district play at home on Tuesday against the 5A number 9 ranked Dripping Springs Lady Tigers. Harper was at home Tuesday night hosting Blanco, and Carson McKnight came up big with 29 points and 9 boards, leading the Horns over the Panthers 68-61. Josh Sadegraves chipped in with 19 and 5 blocks. Harper is taking part in the Sonora Tournament starting on Thursday. The Blanco Lady Panthers were taking on Ingram Tuesday night, and they got off to a fast start, outscoring the Lady Warriors 29-9 in the first half. Ingram was one unable to catch up as they dropped this one 47-28. Shannon Cover led the Lady Warriors with nine points. They take part in the Crane Tournament starting on Thursday. Owl H was in Bernie on Tuesday night, taking on old district rival Geneva. The Lady Hawks used a massive comeback to force overtime and then picked up the road win, 44-39 over the Lady Eagles. Kate Lowell Meyer led all scorers with 17 points. Michaela Gronke added 15 of her own. The Lady Hawks are off until they host their own tournament starting the 27th of this month. The Hawks were also in Bernie taking on the Eagles and they dominated their old rival. James Westfall had 18, Luke Schultz had 16, and OLH was never really challenged as they dominated Geneva 55-39 to pick up the win.